Good Thursday evening, everybody. Welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. I had to do some audio testing there to actually get my voice to be as crisp as I didn't really do that much audio testing. I just made sure the mic was on and I made sure I hit record. I'm looking over the recording. No mistakes here. We're doing Ascension again today. Listen, listen, I hear you guys. I hear the barbarian. The <laughs> Let's try that word again. The barbarians are at the gates. I understand. I'm not calling you guys barbarians, but everyone's clamoring, sort of. More and more of you are asking is what I'm saying. They're saying, Hey, just do some regular runs. I promise you, you know what? If we're doing extra runs, like I'm doing other videos, like, you know, one video is going to be Ascension. Maybe one will be a daily or regular run. We can do it. And it might be nice to win, you know, every now and again, instead of just lose, lose, lose. That being said, if we win today, you'll see it. And it's not that I'm against doing dailies or regular runs. It's just like, I truly believe if we take off the leg weights, it's going to be, you know, not to insert the meme here, but it's like, it's going to be like that one episode of Naruto where, uh, you know, Rock Lee takes off his leg weights when he's fighting Gara in the tuning exams, right? It's a antiquated meme. I still love it, though, because it, it absolutely applies here. Also, you can apply it in a lot of situations here. What are we doing, though? What are we doing? We're doing Ascension, and then maybe if this goes terribly, do another video today. We'll do a Reggie run. Choose a card to obtain 100 gold. 15 damage for 12 max HP, huh? That's actually not bad because it's just a net loss of 3 HP now, but later on, like, it's going to pay some dividends. Dude, I want to fight elites early. I've been, like, dating that's a, a good goal to have, and we can get one right here. And early shop. So, yeah, let's take that. So, we'll have 78 max HP, which is much better than the amount we got there. And we lose 3 HP in the process? Dude, not even a problem. We don't talk about problems. I'm experiencing one right now. It's uh, it's actually better to do it like this because we get more block value out of five versus the four that would reduce this guy here. Run through the flow list. Today was awful. This this week has been awful. It's really hard to get out of bed, but it's okay. I survived. Like if there's a truly a silver lining from today's events, you know, just wrapping up a request from my colleagues here. He's like, hey, we got this like client here that wants to get this urgent request out at 2.30 p.m. I know you leave in 30 minutes, so hey, can we get it done? It's like, hey, can we get it done? I got it done. Why did I get it done? Because I'm a fucking god. That's why I got it done. Then I met him the the like the break room. He's like, oh, hey, thanks for that. Sorry to rush out. I'm like, I mean, obviously colleagues aren't like sitting there like shoving requests down my throat last minute on purpose. It happens for a reason. But out of blue, he's like, oh, hey, you want to do an improv class? And I turned to him and I'm like, what? It's like, out of nowhere. He's like, yeah, we're, we're going to an improv class starting next Thursday. You want to go with me? I'm just sitting here like, it's a very weird and just out of nowhere proposition. But part of me wants to go because I'm like, I mean, I kind of already do that in my room here for a few hours a day. And maybe sometimes do a stream where we just essentially I'm talking to the ether right now. No, no offense again. Some of you are out there. You say, hey, Tim, good video. You missed a good card on the third floor there. But other times, like, if you're an outside person, if you're, like, a burglar in my house right now, or you're, like, anyone, some omnipotent being that doesn't know what the internet is or anything going on here, it's like, this guy's just, like, you know, he does this ritual where he comes home, he adjusts his boomstick, not the boomstick, like, the actual mic boom, and he just, he talks to himself for, like, hours. What a weird boy. And you know what? Omnipotent beings or thief in my house, you're right. I am a weird boy. Don't hurt me. So immediately, leg sweep. That's good. Good defensive option. We need some uh, damage would like some damage options Ooh, this is gonna suck but we do need to get that guy ready because we're not getting weakened here one hp to potentially dust this guy highly worth it go ahead and weaken that guy and get that out there yeah so yeah i might be doing i don't know if i'm gonna go because like i'm anti-social and it's that's a thursday after work so who knows where my mental state is gonna be uh today mental state was not great although we did get to make we had like a, our, we have meetings on the Thursday morning and like, you know, this one was really short. We have like some sort of like, you know, fun activity going on for each team for each month. Speaking of that, my team for January, don't think we got any ideas going on. Probably got to get that after, you know, you get through some of the more important things like the clients yelling at you. But today, you know, the, the squad for the events here is like, hey, let's make some gingerbread cookies. And fuck yeah, I made some gingerbread cookies. Did I take 40 minutes out of my day not working to do it? Fuck yeah, I did. And I made two very non-sarcastic gingerbread cookies where I had this happy client with the biggest smile on his face you can imagine what this actually looked like. You know what? Fuck, I don't... I have it on my phone. Okay, we'll show it on like the next video. Maybe. I, it, it's just good. Just know I made some very smarmy, sarcastic cookies and it felt great. And everyone laughed at it and loved it. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. This is how my life really is. But overall, would I rate today a good day? Hell no, dude. Please, free me. Speaking of being free here, Slice is free. 
Is it, is this a trap? I keep going for the zero cost cards. I see them as valuable because it's like, hey, you can play it for free. Spire logs, please. We haven't used you in a hot minute. Maybe you have some more data compiled that'll help me analyze my decisions here. Card win rates, please. I don't care about popularity. Fame is overrated. Give me raw cash. Hey, we're on Ascension 17. Just just give me some stats here. And the fact that Ascension 20 has its own stat list just that doesn't excite me at all. I don't want to be there yet. What are you doing? Looking at Slice? I just want the opinion. Slice. I mean, they're all... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, here's win rate. You weren't looking at the right thing. Okay, it's looking pretty bad. Panache, obviously, is a top tier card for this character. wonder why. Yeah, slice is pretty bad, and I've been taking it a lot. Mainly because I do have, like, an affinity for it, but... If we don't take it, what damage do we have? Not a lot. Ugh. Ugh. Take dodge roll. Marginally better block. We have a lot of blocks in this deck. You can take expertise. You can make that work for you as well. Well, seeing as how I have no idea what the future holds, we could utilize this in a uh, discard type deck, so sure. Give me expertise. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Flash of Steel. This is also curiosity. Where does this rate on the win rate for this character? Flash of Steel. I just want to know because I do like this card. It's actually pretty high. Believe it or not, it's actually top tier. It's just, it doesn't really give you much right now and it costs all of your money. Do we have other shops on this floor? We potentially do. Fuck yeah, let's hold off. Um... Could go for this and sort of further fuel that discard meta there. Could throw away a card right now, but... but there's no damage in the deck is the thing, so I don't know if I want to throw away a card right now. You could grab Predator. You could. There's actually no real reason not to, I think. Thinning is good, but Predator, as I've said before, as a value play, is just fine. Hitting two strikes there? That's not fine. That's the opposite. That's the exact opposite of what I would call a fine move. Still, get some damage in there. I mean, it's, it's 15 damage for Predator, or free. I'm gonna just chop him down here. I'll take the one HP. Yeah. Slave Spire, it's hard. Life's hard. Playing games, love you guys. Uh, filler, filler, filler content here. I, I don't got much to talk about. Like, truly works bringing me down a lot lately. It's like, ah, it's sort of stopping me from doing a lot of things I love. And that's never a good thing. It's like, I wanna stream, I wanna... Recording is always gonna happen, because that's easy and I love doing that. Nothing can stop me from doing that. But it is also my pseudo, you know, bitching place, if you want to be honest. With streaming, it takes a little bit more effort, and I want to make sure I stay on top of that. I don't know if I want any of these. We're just going to say no, we're going to go here, and I'm actually going to go for an audacious play. I'm going to go for a big upgrade here. Tim, you have 24 HP, you're going to die. Likely the case, and if that's the case, we'll move on to the next run. But I have faith. Okay, it's slowly dwindling, but I still have faith. We can make something big happen here, and that's a good start. We're gonna lose 2 HP for this, but we nearly cleaned this guy up here. Big block, big block strike. It's fine. Rotate the deck here. Okay, he makes me vulnerable. So we want to kill him here pretty quickly, and he's going ahead and do nothing for me. So thank you for doing nothing. So help me God, if I gotta throw a fire potion on this motherfucker to do this kill. Oh, oh, the game was testing me. It's like, hey, you should do it. No, I am not blowing that. I need this for potentially the gremlin mob. I really hope it's Gremlin Knob, because I have a deck built to kill Gremlin Knob right now. If it's not Gremlin Knob, I'm pretty fucked. I'm like, I'm fairly certain I would be fucked. Acrobatics. Again, so we're going for big draw here so we can get some uh, discards. Oh, the one time you want him. And there he is, waiting for you to crush him. Don't even need to play Leg Sweep there, because we have a weak potion here, which will mitigate a fair bit of the damage. And if we can hold off on playing that for this one as well, that'd be swell. I cannot get a kill next turn, so we'll hold off here. We're down to seven. Okay, you got a Predator, and then you got a Survivor. Otherwise, you would just keel over and die. And it, I'm not even worried here. I can muster up nine damage in my fucking sleep. Oh, okay, it's nine damage. Just wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I got really nervous there, but hey, Mercury Hourglass is not amazing at all. But I'm glad to have it. Hexabud. Caltrops would help out. Caltrops also kind of sucks if I had to take a stab in the dark. Caltrops. Not overutilizing fire logs. I just haven't done it in a while. It's a bit we haven't used. 
And it's nice to see what people think or people use. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I wasn't gonna take it anyway. I just wanna know how bad it was. And then flying knee, I don't really want it either. So we'll just go ahead and pass on that. Here we kind of got a rest. Molten egg in my house. Yes, please. So we will rest. And do I want to take on another elite, perhaps? Probably not. Oh, I, I can't. I can't in good faith do that free relic. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not free. It's like, you know, cost your precious life force to make that one happen. But would have been nice. Uh, we will neutralize you. We will get a big block. And we'll strike. Solid. Minus the, uh, the web shot here. Okay, done, and no, 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 no. There's no point in doing that, just block. Done and dusted. Now he has been dusted. Thoroughly dusted, feeling good. Catalyst is uh, another win condition for a different type of deck. Blur can fit the bill. We have 120 gold here. Would love after image. You know I would. Trust me, I, I would love to have the after image. It's uh, hard to hold to great esteem. Cannot afford to get it so we're gonna thin out a bad strike and the deck's damage just consists of like predator for the most part hey wheel of change hey dude you can give me a relic you can give me there's like 90 percent good things here it's a relic that's like the best thing something useful though would be even better it's the sundial 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 reset my energy Sundial, if you know, like it's it's like the somebody you know the song by the you know you know like the, those faint you've probably heard of the somebody you know the song yeah you know who I'm talking about right that conversation went over smoothly cool sundial 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 me okay hit him hit him that's about as good as it's gonna get to start off here when you get some major draw weakness potions probably gonna come out on the first turn Let's go ahead and throw it on him. Muster that up. Yeah. Don't get any damage in there, but we're gonna roll over three block. And we can just basically, yeah, just keep him down forever. Never let him play the game. Never let him live his best life. Throw him in the trash. Uh, I will take eight damage here. So I can speed up this process, because uh, if I don't play Sundial, we're not, or Predator, we're not really getting towards that Sundial play. Acrobatics is actually gonna give me some energy here. For some reason I thought I was at the end of the deck there and I was actually not even close, so I don't know what I was on about there. Which DLC? Uh, uh Rise and Fall. Rise and Fall, bud. Come on, Danny. Daniel Daniel Phantom himself. Yes, I do know the uh, voice actor for Daniel Phantom. Uh and I'm kidding. It's a friend of my friend whose name is Danny. He's a cool guy. Except when he cheats in board games. He doesn't cheat in board games. He's trying to fuck Gandhi right now. Oh, fuck up, Gandhi. I mean, you could, you could want to fuck Gandhi, too. I apologize. He's, he's playing Civ. You know how it is against Gandhi. He does, like, Gandhi things. It's like, oh, hey, G Gandhi. Yeah, I'm just a guy that likes throwing nukes around, just like in real life. Yes, yes. I'll be honest. If there's any internet gamey things that have sort of, like, overstayed their welcome as a joke, it's the whole Gandhi liking using nukes and Civ things. Like, I get it. It was a, a coding overflow. It's like, oh, we wanted to make it a negative one. This is some, like, really nerd shit right here. But, you know, hey, if you're into the coding thing, don't let me shit on your prey here, but it's like, uh, we actually meant him to have a negative one value when he uh, uses nukes, and it actually just underflow to make him one million, and now he uses nukes all the time. It's like, oh, yeah, I get it. It's real funny. And every time anyone talks about Civ, you can bet your sweet ass what you're going to hear is, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just started up a game of Civ here. I got uh, George Washington, uh, the, the German guy from um, whatever Civ DLC this one is. And I got Gandhi. Oh, my God. Gandhi's going to nuke me. It's like, oh, yes, I know. I too play Civ. Greetings, fellow gamer. I understand. But it's like I hear it all the time. I love Civ. I oh, don't love this. Ah, am I dead? 15. I'm... I'm dead. <coughs> that wasn't a cough of surprise. I was just like a cough. But yeah, what the fuck? Alright. Well. Let's get another run going here. I mean, to be fair. What did that run have going for it? A uh, Predator Plus. Yeah. I know. That's, that's it. When we really put it in hindsight, it's like, yeah, but I also had plus 14 max HP. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you did. Look where it got you. 
So here, 15 damage to transform two cards. It's so risky, but in its own unique ways, we're going to do some wacky things here. This acts like thinning out the strikes and giving me something potentially better. Those are infinitely worse. If I had to tell you how I felt about that, just fucking start the run over right now. Those are hot garbage. Some of the hottest garbage this side of the hot and garbage. That being said, you want to take on an early elite? Yeah, I mean... You don't have a choice but to fight an elite here, so I may as well take one on that I feel secure and safe for fighting, and that would be the ones on the right. How many fireplaces on the left? Uno, dos, san. And then you got Ichi, two, trace. Okay, it's three and three. I, I know, I'm sorry if I'm linguistically... Linguistically is the word. Confusing there. I know a few words in other languages. That's right. I said numbers in another language. I know. I'm a cultured American. What can I say? I can speak Spanish and Japanese up to three. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I'm sorry. It's, like, it's always the, that that and like the whole like weather topic are always two little bits or jokes I can always just fall back on. I'm like, yeah, these are always like sort of mildly amusing to do. It's like, oh, you know, the weather one is like, hey, oh, it's, you know, it's cold where I am, and someone's like, oh, yeah, again, I live in Igloo in Saskatchewan. You think that's cold? It's like, listen, guy, I'm sorry. And the other one is, oh, I, I know, I know uh, another language here. I can count to three in another language. It's like, yeah, yes, you can. Congrats. Jackass. All right. Blade Dance. Actually, combos with Flechette, so what we're doing right now is, it's a skill base. It's a Flechette deck. Um, I'd rather have a fish fillet deck because that's the only thing I think of when I see Flechette is fillet, but all right We just need to not fight gremlin knob and um, Somebody 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 Do you do this? Do you do this? I think we're gonna say no this time around. I don't really want to dip my hand in that great upgrade a card yo Flechette you're looking good all of a sudden. You're the value of a strike. If I just get a bunch of skills in the process like this, that's 30 damage. That's 30 damage. Oh my god. Oh. Poggers, dude. Lachette, I'm sorry I doubted you. In this one situation where I drew extra, you know, skill cards that made you really strong, you were great. And to be fair, there might be a play with uh, retaining that card in the future. So who knows? Backflip? It's another skill. So right now we are going skill heavy, so Flechette actually procs, and I'm not opposed to it at this point. Hey, where's my Flechette? Hey, hey <laughs> never doubted you for a second, but get your ass out there. Okay. And we squeeze out six more damage. This is going good. Flechette's proving to be a nice early game uh, boy for us here, and it, that's not often I get to say that there's an early game boy that I like, but this is an early game boy that I do like. Usually, you see that card, I'm like, uh, what are the chances I'm gonna have enough skills to make it worthwhile? It's like, hey, in a poison deck, it'll work. Yeah, in a poison deck, it works, but it's against the theme of the poison deck. It's like, well, you can't focus on one archetype. It's like, I know, right now, I'm having, like, all these self-arguments in my head with invisible people. It's like, they just... You reach a point in your life where this is what you do for entertainment, and you're like, yeah, this is... Dude, keep them coming. I can backflip into every flechette. I will gladly do it. So there's a scary world here if it's Gremlin Knob, and that terrifies me a modest amount. I think it's slightly more valuable to upgrade this. Because if it is Gremlin Knob, we're going to be able to reduce some of the damage you do. Don't be Gremlin. No! No, it's not supposed to be Gremlin. It's like, this is the worst. Obviously, you're gonna gratata him. Pretty good damage. Don't sleep on that damage. Blade dance. Shiv him, shiv him. You're taking a, a hefty chunk of damage there, but that's fine, because we got the major flechette off. And that's sort of what we're going for here, is just, like, super flechettes. And it did not pay off on this one. Not in the slightest. Uh, that being said, we don't even have to waste this, really, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Because I can save that for a situation where it matters. Yeah, yeah, dusted, nerd. All right. Took two big hits there. We used a lot of skills, and we still came out okay. Accuracy is solid, because if we're going for a dodge block skill shift deck, this is a card you want in there. And I think we need to upgrade that ASAP, so we actually... No! 
No, it's the AOE check. God, ah, I forgot you existed. Like, you're the worst. You're actually the worst. 612. We can kill you. That's 10 damage. But you make me weak. 612. These are 8. So we can kill you. And we'll still take damage, is the thing. But it makes our future life just a little bit better. That being said, we drop full chat with enough blocks. I think we'll be fine. Okay, yeah. Uh, I've talked myself out of it. We'll do it like this. Bring it on, bitch. Okay. One damage. Smash. I know me too, fellow gamer. I do like a uh, video game. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. And then you can do it like that. He just puts him back to the nun. And then you go, yeah. And then you go, yeah. And then you go, yeet. And we're taking a little bit of damage here. Not the time to get the AoE check. My uh, humble opinions. Really bad time to get the fucking AoE check is the thing. Okay, let's keep blocking. Flechette will show its face and then these guys will rue the day except for the guy smashing me right now. Stop smashing me. All right, 12 damage. We can kill you if we throw everything at it and then we just go ahead and, oh. Is this four damage for me? Thank you. All right, we're gonna be fine. We just had to rotate around to our boy Flechette till uh, you know something good happened here. That's eight damage. Sit your ass down. All right, and now we just slow roll here. So we need to draw either one good block or two good blocks in between, and we will be fine. This is sufficient. Oh, you know what I was hoping for. Y'all knew what I was hoping for. I'm like, hey, maybe Flechette will heal up and we'll be saved. Strength, uh, getting some strength gains for this deck would be uh, a nice boon. We almost won the other run from a skewer build, believe it or not. A potion? The time is overstated, so well, we're good. Terror, yes. So the deck we're going, Terror is good. Centennial's puzzle, you know, it's trying to buy a house or get a mortgage, I know. Overused joke, but still, it is the puzzle. Uh, Shiv's doing a little bit better now. And then you can give me some more Shiv's. That is more Shiv's. This is indeed more Shiv's. Sadistic Nature was the card I was thinking about for the, the poison deck that synergizes really well. That's interesting. Meal ticket. You know, what's the price of flight? I think you go for another backflip and you, you get yourself some shivs and you get rid of those strikes. And I'm feeling moderately secure here. I would take combat. I will take this combat and I will chug this. <laughs> oh, you dare oppose me with this flechette. Where this Dan? I think we actually need to kill these guys here because they're doing damage at this point in time. And you do it like this, and then you get the the big shivs out for later. And okay, so about guy in the back, he's buffed himself up a fair deal. We just need to neutralize him. Get some block cards out there. Get some more block cards out there. We do want to focus him actually, so we'll go ahead and uh, take a little bit of damage here, but we're healing up in the process. Yeah, web shoot me. I was gonna say, I need you to web shoot me here. Um, so we'll, we'll kill you. And we'll play good blocks. Alright. And let this tick off two more times here so we get enough HP to make our life worth living, and then we're good to go. That is an instant kill. Let's not do that. Or like the one extra HP if possible. 10 damage. Uh, yeah, no, no dice. Good dice. Okay. We're hitting for 13 on shivs. Holy fuck. That feels good. Blur. It's a block. The tiny chest. Thank you. It's bottle flame. Who's an attack to start with? Flechette. Oh, that's so good. That is actually insanely good. Because you draw all these skills and you're just done. Oh my god. 24. If I threw this on him first, that would have been a kill, I think. But no, you can go for it. And, uh, no accuracy here. We'll slow roll him here. Might toss the poison on him. Might be useful against Slime Lord. A lot, lot of mites in life right now. I did not mean to play that one, but hey. You're the gamer here. You tell me. Here we get a block, and then you get some damage, some damage, some damage. He's dead. Alright, we're good. No poison necessary. We have an opportunity to throw it away for something better. We absolutely will. Cloak and Dagger. So we need to rest is the thing, but I do have the ghost in a jar. So this is highly doable, I think. I'm gonna go for it and it's it's crazy, crazy enough to work, but 
Oh, what a start. Okay, yeah. 36 damage. I'm going to go ahead and throw the poison. I'm going to save it for the next phase. And we're going to do it here, actually. All right. Insanely good start. So you get the goop spray. That's his only free move. Backflip. Get that out there. Neutralize. Strike. Will not cause him to split. He's preparing. And then we get a big hit right here. We could take him down further. But I think I want to save that terror for a later bout of combat. 58, it's a uh, middling. That's a middling place to be, but we're getting some big shivs for free. And you know what I'm looking for. Ooh, it's it's better to go for damage, not the blocks, I think. Yeah. Go for the guy that's going to reduce your damage. Because, you know, he's going to do it here no matter what. But not too concerned about defending ourselves on this turn here. We're going to go for more damage. Go ahead and play that. Hit, 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 hit. Burn a slime. He's got. He's down to nine apiece. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're absolutely going to be okay. So, you toss this on him. You do 30 damage. Um... Squeeze out another 14. I think you just go ahead and dust one guy real quick. And that's fine by me. Yeah. Just putting him at 28 each, which is a little less than ideal, but we can take care of this damage fairly easily. Here go Survivor. Block. Block. Strike. Take you down next turn. We're taking six. The manageable six. The hateful six. Or it's the hateful eight. I mean... I love Quentin Tarantino films, but I'm not too familiar with that one. Uh, can I kill you outright? No, so you're probably going to be one that's attacking next turn. Um, and you still keep doing damage, because even if you're taking three here, we're, we're fine. I'd rather make sure I can uh, end the fight before it goes on for too long. And look at that. He's got a deck potentially worth your time. Should have burned out those slimes. Keep that in mind for later. It's good. Uh, burst. The burst actually more valuable with a lot of the skills we got going on here so give me that burst baby and we do want some energy i think not having to worry about shops anymore is a fine situation to be in it's probably one of the best relics to get because shops are sort of already already bad on later ascensions anyway so you don't really miss out on too much you miss out on some events later absolutely but this is fine so out the gate you go like this you go like that. You go like this, and you go like that. It's 11 block, baby. Look it up. It's math. Okay. You go for a backflip, and then you go for the cloak and dagger, and then you put those daggers right in his fucking back, and then you get some more block, and then you get some more block, and you get some damage in there. Don't think he attacks again. So, the rollover block was a little worthless. Damage, 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 damage. Oh, it's damage, bitch. And we got a regen potion. Oh, wait, we do lose money from that, but that's fine. Another infinite blades. It's an innate, so paying the price up front for it. We drink this immediately. Play accuracy. You gamble on trying to get a little bit more damage out of this, and it worked. It fucking worked. And then you get the infinite blades running here. So guaranteed nine damage shifts coming out every turn. Oh, this is a good turn. Oh, this is a good turn. We need to block up hard here. Because he's going to hit me for 11, and the next turn he's going to hit me for a shit ton. So I'm going to like to block a majority of that, and we're already doing it. So get that out there. You do that, you get one of these. That's 22 exactly. I'd rather squeeze out some more damage. Holy hell. The control right now, dude. It's a blue deck for magic. Uh, that's right, I'm a magic aficionado too. Not really. I know a little bit about that game. One of the people I work with, he's really big into magic. I try and talk with him about it, but I, I don't have an idea too much of what's going on. I don't understand the basics, but once you get past the basics, I'm like, dude, I'm basic. What do you want? Do you take Predator? I, again, Spyrologs has been open this entire time. I do like Predator. I think it's actually good. I think it's quite good. It's quite bad. 
It's it's way worse than I thought. Okay. That has influenced my decision slightly, but in most other cases, like, you're just for the raw damage. I, I feel like I have to adjust myself. I justify myself these days. But yeah, it, you know, it, it's good. It is good. But for what we're doing right now, I just want draw and shivs. That does not really... It helps with the draw part, but it's like an after draw. You have, you're putting money down, dude. It's like an unsecured note. You don't know what you're going to get there. Okay, we're going for a backflip. I mean, 15 damage. You gotta get accuracy out, though. So that guarantee throws him on the floor, which is fine. I'm gonna be getting 9 damage shivs for free, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Hit. Hit. Weaken. Uh, it makes your deck worse later. It does, but 18 block right now is exactly what we need. We can burn out all three of those dazes. It's a bad hand to miss out on, but hey. That's life. Free turn. Let's go ahead and see if we can't fish those out. We've fished out neither of those. Okay, yeah, next turn is hot garbage. <laughs> so hopefully he's not hitting too hard. Hmm, I would definitely fall that under the category of hitting uh, too hard. That helps. Anything to survive here. We can actually give ourselves a bunch of crap in this deck because we do have uh, free shivs coming out. Alright, good. So we get two block rolled over here. It's 30 damage. It's quite a lot. Maybe... We have just enough damage to deal with it. Jesus. Yeah, any longer and we were fucked there. Riddle with holes, I don't think so. Sucker Punch upgraded. That's some additional guaranteed weakness. I will take one just so I have more weakness in the deck. Uh, and you want to hit up these shops earlier rather than later. 85 gold for a relic. I am sold. It's the Juzu bracelet, so that means we can guarantee go through these events without any concern. You get two fireplaces. Ex you get an extra fireplace for this. Sorry, shop. We already knew you were a secondary. Letter opener is huge. Huge. Um, infinite blades. Okay, so first turn is very skill heavy. A guaranteed curse to start off is pretty bad, but if we can make it to that shop right there, go through the elite, we can get rid of it. I'm gonna go for it. It's the shovel. Okay. Um, good question on what you should do here. I think there's things I want to upgrade still. So Shovel's not amazing, believe it or not. It's just okay. So we'll keep getting our shivs. They're the key. And yeah, we got to go through that elite there to... Oh, marbles are nice. Do you dig here? I think you could actually safely dig here. But doubling up on a burst is also insanely good. It's a shovel. If this was a regular run, I'd love to just dig up some more relics. But and now I'm thinking maybe I don't even want to go to the shop because I can get another uh, station right there. Ugh. Ugh. What is that? What is this damage? I, I need to block here. Rough. Opening hands are going to be really bad going forward. Backflip. Okay, so you need to go for shiv. Shiv. We can get... Three more shifts here. I don't even think I could squeeze that many out, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have five. Yeah, I can't even get all the shivs out if I wanted to. I'll extend the weakness, and I'll just play one. Okay, it's decent. And Thiefling Spores is uh, quite bad, but we can manage. All right, keeping the curse, but... Only take a little damage. Okay, I think we need to go to the rest station now. Decision has been made for us. Yeah. Then you go, yeah. Then you go, yeah. Then you go, yeah. And these are hitting decently strong. Not enough to save me from another bout of damage. So, yeah. Fortunately, I had to go there. I had to keep this curse for a little bit longer. And it's only bad for the startup of the deck. Out after that, it's not bad. But, yeah, we need the, need the rest. Ch choke. Choke actually is um, pretty tempting now in the, the deck here. He's getting that many shivs out with a terror on top. 
I'm actually gonna take it, and I think that might be the extent of cards we start taking, because after this, we probably need to cut it out. Ew, this combat could get nasty. I'm gonna give this to you for later. We're just gonna go ahead and play everything. Still need to sort of crush you as soon as possible, but getting the shivs out early is nice. I debate if I should go for you first, but we already know it's probably not a good decision. And then we get one big block. All right, we're losing most of that, but we get to keep a little bit. Yeah, I gotta punch you in the face, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, damage. There's choke. Uh, this actually might be enough to get a kill. Yeah. All right, Choke, I'm glad you did not disappoint me here. You proved to be a very good choice tactician. Uh, we don't really have a lot of discard. We only have the one with Survivor, so. Other runs I would have loved to take it, not this one. Bottle Lightning, choose a skill to start with. Uh, and something about getting the Terror out immediately seems pretty good. And... You know what? What, Tim? What? What do you know? Uh, I don't know much, actually. I was, I was thinking I knew something, and then I realized I know nothing. Um, <coughs> maybe just rest here? The upgrades are not that game-breaking. Getting terror to cost nothing for later, though, might be useful. It's going to be in our innate starting hand here. We're going to get a lot of extra cards in addition to it, so... May as well make it sort of viable to play other things. Okay, and we gotta do like this now. Getting those shivs out early is always nice. It's guaranteed damage. I will weaken you. Yeah. I want to do a choke as well. Choke will be able to wipe out one of these guys. So, choke him. And then you, you do the weaken here, because it's going to save you a, just a decent chunk. You're taking a lot of damage to make it happen, but we already have the enemies before us. Keep them weak even longer. They insist on attacking still for some god-awful reason. And we need to take care of you. Okay, that's the minions down. Now we get our upgraded shivs out on the next turn, because of course it was one of the last two cards in the deck. And I'm not even complaining, it's this fucking fact. Look up the facts. We go backflip. And uh, there is the choke that I wanted to get played here, so... A little unfortunate, but we can go ahead and roll over some blocks. Doubly roll over the block, so that stays around for two turns. Quite good. So I think he goes for an attack here, and I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm not too afraid of that attack. Give him the sucker punch, keep him weak a little longer. Some more blocks. Hey, Flechette! Thank you again for the supplement. Strikes. We're doing 20 damage a turn right now. That feels pretty damn good. Do another 23, so I could take this on the chin if I wanted. Uh, we're not going to. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. That's a lot of damage, dude. If this is a free turn, yeah. So this is another guaranteed 20. And depending on what comes around the corner there, it might be victory. That is a choke, which is a little bit more damage here. But if I can get a blur... Or near lethal damage, that's even better, actually. Okay, yeah, that was actually really good. Hey, we gotta run. We gotta run here. It was a little dicey. I had to take some upfront damage, but we... This is doable. Uh, don't drink it. I sort of should just discard it right now, I feel like, but... Uh, I don't know. Um, Alchemize. Welcome aboard. We'll throw you in the fire if needed. Additional curses, you can no longer rest. Transform three cards. I'm fine with transforming three cards. Make you something that's not innate. If it turns into the other thing, though, you're going to be hating life. But... We could just not open uh, chests. Yeah, I could just not open chests. We're not utilizing this much energy anyway, so... It's fine. One, two, three... Holy fuck!
You're joking. I want the energy now. I have four. I have to. I mean, my entire first hand's innate now, but oh my god. I'm not even scared that it's woke bloke. I mean, I am. But Jesus, that is so fucking good. The best path is this one, right? That is insane. Oh my god. Please. Let me live. Shit, now I, I'm struggling. Do I, like, you know, would you, you want to get these out? You still probably want to get the shivs out. I'm going to make you weak. This is going to be seven block. I think for this fight, this is fine. We, we need more energy for our opening hand now, believe it or not. But, oh my god, that is actually ridiculous how good that is. It's, like, actually absurd how good it is. Um, let me accept the damage we're about to be taken here. Not as great. We still got one more play here with it, so yeah, we'll do it like that. Cross that. Okay, mustered up a lot of block there. Still took one damage. It's perfectly fine. Uh, we need to kill. That is a good potion for later. We'll not touch it right now. Okay, kill you. Prep you. Oh, man. It's, it's That's a lot of block power. Hey, you're doing more. Yeah, you're doing more. So we're going to do it like this. There's a chance. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know you do the regeneration thing. It's it's quite cool. Uh, you tell all your friends about it at parties. Like, hey, check it out. He grew back my arm. <laughs> grew back my arm. Is what I tried to say there. Yo, Sneko, get the fuck out of here. All right. Leave room for the real gamers. Okay. We just need to keep it together here. Face trader. Uh, I do not wish to partake in your events on the third floor. Potion seller. Take four damage and leave, because we can still thin out one curse from our deck a little bit later. I think that's worth it. Just, just hit me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have bothered you on your establishment. It's not like you're getting a lot of customers out here in the fucking ether anyway. I think you go for this one, really. I'm just gonna go ahead and chug it here. We're gonna be getting a lot more guaranteed potions anyway, so this is fine. So opening turn against Woke is gonna be pretty nasty, but once we get past that, it's for the most part smooth sailing. And we do need to kill you very quickly before you get out of control strong. Because uh, my damage revolves around me hitting you, so... You are not allowed to uh, block too much. If you do, I am going to tell my father. He runs uh, Blizzard. Perhaps you've heard of it. Good. You have heard of it. I appreciate someone that obeys and does not uh, get out of control. This, this fight right here, though, later on is going to cause me some issues if I'm not careful. Still keeping it together pretty good. A fear potion is quite good, but getting some immediate strength value is great. Concentrate is what I've been looking for for the energy gain, but... We don't really need it here. I don't want... Wait. I do want backstab, I think. I do want backstab in the opener. Because it, it just adds towards the innate part of the deck. Okay, here. Lots of good. Best good you can do for yourself. Getting rid of that. And you pop in here. You rest up. 61 HP. One elite fight. It's the nemesis. The Emma nemesis. Hilarious. Order would have been very important there, but it's life. 
I do still think the opening turns are always the hard ones, but this this guarantees me four block every turn, so. I don't think there's a world where I don't do that. He's intangible. Motherfucker. This does nothing, but it'll get me two potions. And what else am I going to double up on? Shivs? Yeah, shivs are actually a smart thing to double up on. But go ahead and grab me one of these. Should be useful. Dude, if we had a kunai or a shuriken, guaranteed victory here. All right. Yeah, opening turns are always hard. So we just want to avoid as much combat as we can so we don't have to worry about having bad opening turns. And these are going to hit for a little bit more, but getting some additional cards next turn. Oh, wait, we could do both. <laughs> Sitting here analyzing, like, oh, I've got to actually piece it out a little bit better. And uh, oh, wait, we're fine. This turn, just got to endure. This is actually pretty big. Abs that. On on the floor. Uh, yeah, we're not taking too much. Dude. It's the day. It's fucking reckoning day, man. He's dead. From my draw effect. Bottle Tornado. Choose a power to start with. I mean, I actually do not have enough energy to start with all the cards I want. So I actually don't think I want to put Accuracy in the front. Because you only get four energy. And these are the four I'm likely to play. So actually, it's a bit of a miss. And here? Is there anything left to upgrade? There is. But I've already said sort of situation. The first turn, I'm guaranteed to take a little bit of damage because I want to get the, uh, the bonuses out there. You just gotta, you know... Do it as it is. Anchor is exactly what I needed. It's exactly what I needed because the first turn so so meh. So now I'm caught. Oh. You still exist. Hello, Tim. It's me. Perhaps you've heard of me. I am the spaghetti god. Please don't be bad. Lose one curse, gain another, I suppose. So for this turn... We're going to go ahead and chug. Gonna alchemize. That's pretty good. Now these are gonna be hitting very hard. Huh. 16 damage. I laughed at your face for 16 damage. Yeah, wasn't afraid. You can only do it once, as Greymon has told me. Many of you, many others of you, many of you have told me. So, do not fear that. Yeah, and then you go, yeah, and then you go, yeah, and then you go, gra, ta, ta. I mean, no matter, yeah, even if he does 30, I'm not too concerned either. There's some good things I don't want to draw into, so we will not backflip again. 18. Keep him weak. Hey, we would be afraid to get into the 30 territory here. It's exactly where we ended up as well. We're only taking three. Hey, okay. Uh, we'll go for a choke. We'll go for a burst. And burst deflect. And you're dead. See you in hell. None of that. We want none of that. I don't want that elite either. Ooh, you could be a bad. You could be a very bad. All right, the backstab is proving just to be a nice little bit of upfront damage. 15 a choke, not great. Weakness is important here. Getting the shivs out to be stronger is going to be important in the long run. So yeah, now we're hitting for 13 a piece with those. Could draw into something good. I'm gonna lean on not likely to do, and then we'll just take a little damage here. It's 11. Acceptable. I'm gonna go ahead and toss you there. Get some of these. 
It's, it's a little bit more burst, and I am not opposed to it. Thirty damage. Uh, we need the block, though. Yeah, doable. All right, we're fine. This measly bit of damage we took doesn't even get me out of bed in the morning. Poison potion, not necessary. All of this, not necessary. Elite fight, also not necessary. Uh, potion right now is looking pretty good for this scenario. So we do need you to be weak for later. Um... Settle on probably crushing you right now. And then we get these out. And it's a good opening turn. Dude, big shout out to Anchor. It's actually exactly what I needed. Okay, Thorn Boy still needs to go first. Uh, so this is fine. That actually gives me a potential out if I just want to slow roll it. Guaranteed death. Okay, and then you next. Give me dazes. I don't give two fucks. Okay, I do give two fucks that all of you have decided to attack here. So guaranteed demise. Losing a little HP here. We're just going to rest up at the final event anyway. That was a sensible decision. All right. Any good cards? Second terror? Actually, very useful because this guy's got two phases. No, 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 no. The answer is no. The answer is rest. Let's actually go. So he's going to get very strong, mind you. Extremely, extremely strong. But getting this out of the way is extremely important. So, well, you know, again, upfront cost, extreme. We're taking no damage. I am just going to drink this because there's actually no reason not to. Get me to my powers. Throw it on him. Kill him. Perfectly fine. All right. Taking just a bit. Just a bit of damage. We still need to get the shivs out there, and I think that's all the powers we have. That's a lot of damage, though. And you know where most of our power is going to come from for blocks? It's going to come from these bad boys right here. Forty-eight. Yeah, no, he needs to die. Okay. And that's some of the power. We can get that block rolled over, mind you. So, looking good. There it is. This is a nasty turn to have to do it. But... Hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. I think you want to block here, because you don't got a lot of life to play with. Hey, and now he, yeah, he's hitting for 27. A pop. Not great. Another not great turn. Pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, it's extremely bad. Need to use this for uh, better turns to avoid that. Okay, here, yeah, we need some, uh, this is what we need. Need some of that. I need a flechette for some serious damage. Good damage. Jib him. Jib him. You burst cloak and dagger. Hit, 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 hit. 9, 18, 20, 36. Still a little bit of damage because I did misplay it slightly. But we got the damage out there. When it needed to get out there. Yes! Okay, we got two shivs that are going to be rolling over for later. That's not great. Okay, and we need to... Yes, okay. Good get there. Survival is more important right now. So focus on surviving. Can we get enough block here? That's another... 13 on the cusp, and we're gonna get a little bit more from the rollover effects of the other cards. That's exactly enough, and we get two armor rolled over. Good. 36, quite bad. 
Shiv, shiv, shiv. I'm gonna go for a back flip first. Okay. Could get some serious damage in. We very well could. I think it's still better. Hang on. Can we get enough block from it? So each each card gives me plus two. So this will be uh, eight. And then we'll get an additional four. So that's 12, 27. He's doing 36. We, we can't. We need to play all of our shivs for security. Yes. Depending on what we get from this is actually good as well, so... It's the second terror, and I think it's very smart to get that out right now, and that's 36 exactly. And on this turn, we got... We got some burst skills, so we can burst a few things. And we have exactly two things we can burst. You do it. Additional weakness. Hitting for 13 apiece. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 36. No, 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 no. It's quite bad. It's quite bad. I was actually really hoping to get um, Deflect there, and we do have the uh, Void in the deck for later, which is going to be an issue. Okay, fine turn here. Fine turn here. And we'll be able to get enough blocks to so do this. Hit. Hit. Play this. Hit. 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 Play this. Hit. Hit. Block. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! It's finally over. It's finally over. My mic's not muted, right? Okay. It's over. It's over. Ascension 17 is in the fucking books. Let's go. Let's fucking go. I could lose my job tomorrow and it wouldn't mean a goddamn thing right now. I mean, it actually would. Please, please don't, don't think like that. I'm not even in a bad spot for it anyway. But look at that. Ascension 17. <laughs> it's been so long. What is this screen? Oh, it's the credits of this game. It's the Anthony Giovanni. Giovanni. Casey, you know. You know, Casey. Daniel Jenkins. Jake Rabino. Clark. A, a I'm not going to butcher anyone else's names. Hey, thanks for watching. That's a George. It took us a while. And it was a godsend fucking transformation into two of the most needed powers for this deck to actually give me a chance so you know what we might do another run later i'm gonna ride this high right now thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your evening we'll see you tomorrow for the next one take it easy everyone